Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Abby and I'm a yogi, Salesforce engineer and creator of Consider Volunteering, my personal brand of community empowerment. I'm so grateful to have you here with me today as we complete a loving kindness meditation. So each Monday I've been coming back to share a loving kindness meditation with the world because I believe this practice makes the world a better place each and every time we practice it, no matter how well we do it. As this is kind of getting to the root cause of my traumas and places in which I've needed to heal. And so that's why I'm sharing it with the world, because this is what I have practiced, what I have found useful in changing my perspective about this world in which we live in. And so over the next 30 minutes, we will complete a loving kindness meditation from start to finish. No prior experience necessary. I will walk you through each of the steps. We will take these first five minutes to get some instructions, and then we will spend five minutes on each group in which we send our loving kindness phrases to. So 30 minutes in total. And so from that perspective, our first step of our meditation is to find our way to a comfortable seat. So I sit on a meditation cushion here in my yoga office room. This is where I sit all day, every day. It would be really funny when somebody finally recognizes it from my professional career. I sit here and this is what I look like. And so once you find your way to your comfortable seat, whatever position that might be for you here today, our meditation or metta meditation practice or loving kindness consists of two main parts. First is a set of phrases we repeat silently to ourselves and then the focus or the five different groups of people in which we send our phrases to. So phrases and then the groups of people in which we focus on. And so the phrases that I learned from my teacher Sharon Salzberg, which I'll be using as our examples here today are May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. Please do feel free to select your own phrases as you can use any, whatever feels right for you today. These are just the sample phrases that I will be using, but ultimately that we will be repeating in our heads. And so we send these phrases to five different groups of people. We really go on a journey as we send our phrases to these different people, kind of noticing how our mood, our energy shifts as we go along in our practice. And so first we send our phrases to the self. Towards the self, we send our phrases first and foremost, filling up our cup before we move on. Second is a loving relationship. So we spend five minutes sending our loving kindness phrases to a loving relationship in our life, reminding us that love is everywhere. Third is a neutral relationship. So somebody you don't know well, but maybe you see regularly at the grocery store on our commute, our community in which lives around us and how we take these five minutes to contemplate our relationship to our community or neutral relationship. Fourth is a difficult relationship. And so we send our loving kindness phrases even to a difficult relationship in our life, whatever difficult relationship you might spend your time with today. We will find a new perspective and we will get up from our practice as different people and we will be able to take a small step forward in that difficult relationship. Last but not least, we send our phrases fifth and finally to all beings everywhere, reminding us of how many possibilities we have to reinvent ourselves in this world, but also how everything is connected, not just within our bodies or our communities, but in this world and universe as well. How the strings really do string out, you know, how many similarities I found in time has been coincidence for sure. And so those are the journey in which we will go on today. As those are all the instructions that I have for you. And so I hope you find your way to your comfortable seat. And this is time to start in on the self. 
we bring the self to mind. I know I just went to my first acupuncture appointment today, trying to fill up my cup, trying to change who I am, trying to let go of my traumas and what I need to heal from to take that step forward. And I'm so grateful towards myself for taking that time and this time to become a better person for myself, but for all beings everywhere. And so may I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I live with ease. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I live with ease. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I live with ease. And continue on room. I'm feeling a bit of sorrow today as I think about my previous self in which I have to say goodbye to as myself nowadays as I continue to change and evolve I'm quite happy with I've really curated a beautiful life here in the mountains of Colorado working remotely in Salesforce so much different than how I was raised or the environment in which I grew up in and so nowadays I'm a little sad to see the newer parts of me continue to change also. But I know it's for the better because slowly but surely I am decoupling the pain that I carry with me so that I can truly walk around in this life a bit lighter with more peace as that is my truest desire. Maybe just maybe together we might be able to find a new perspective. May I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be safe, may I live with ease, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be safe, may I live with ease. And with that, my dear friends, we take this final breath while thinking about the self. How has our mood shifted since starting our practice today? As we transition into our loving 
relationship a loving relationship might you want to recall when times are not so loving I myself will probably be sending them to my poor little doggy today has his face is quite swollen he must have come across a bee in the yard he's doing well but swollen still and so I hope to extend my love to him through this short five minutes of my loving kindness meditation practice who in your life might be able to use a bit more love today what loving relationship can you foster if only I remember to foster these relationships always May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. I'm thinking about my spiritual friends today, those who are in Sangha with me on this path, this path to enlightenment, but for me more of a path to inner peace. As these Sangha members are the only ones who truly understand loving without all these societal pressures, right? We understand loving something from this pure perspective and fortunately too many times has that been abused. But I'm one who holds love in its purest form for all those in Sangha on this path. I hold the deepest faith that together we will make the world a more beautiful place. I'm so grateful to be able to connect with you on this journey. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. And with that, dear friends, we take this final breath to notice how our mood has shifted when thinking about our loving relationship. May those who we send our phrases to truly feel our deepest loving connection. 
may they too be able to recall that love when the love is gone. As we transition to our neutral relationship for this week, our member of the community or our community and whole, could you possibly feel your neighborhood around you? Could you feel the greater community of the town around that? Maybe something to contemplate as we're contemplating our community. How far reaching does your community go? Or maybe how can you uniquely feel these subsections of our community as they are not always created equal for all of us? To our neutral relationship, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. I am in a bit more of a sultry mood as Halloween approaches and summer slips away from us. I've got a nice new manicure to match. Nice little brooding type perspective. But that doesn't mean that I can't be a quality member of my community still as I finally get to be the full bar candy house. And I'm so looking forward to it. As so few trick-or-treaters came to my house, I bought a package of full candy bars. Done. But maybe just maybe I'll make those kids' days when they have that full candy bar story from their childhood. As I have with mine. They were my aunt and uncles, but still. May I make that memory for somebody else. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. And with that, dear friends, we take this final breath to notice our energy has shifted while thinking about our community or neutral relationship. May we get up tomorrow being new people in that community. 
as we transition to my least favorite part of the practice, our difficult relationship, do feel free to select whatever difficult relationship comes to mind today. It does not have to be the hardest one, but if that's all you can think of, we will transition through. It was like a victory when my most difficult relationship wasn't the most difficult anymore when something took its place. I mean, that wasn't easy. It was just another bad, difficult relationship, but it was no longer the most difficult. And that was kind of the small breath of fresh air I needed. And so to our difficult relationship, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. As I mentioned, difficult relationships don't always have to be difficult. I know it can feel like moving mountains to get there. But if only we took those small baby steps. If you could face that person on the other line with a bit more compassion. Couldn't we finally talk about it? I'm worth ripping that band-aid of uncomfortableness i'm worth overcoming this difficult relationship and so together let us find the strength to overcome may you be happy may you be healthy may you be safe may you live with ease may you be happy may you be healthy may you be safe may you live with ease And with that, my dear friends, we take this final breath to notice how our energy has shifted when thinking on our difficult relationship. May you be able to walk around an ounce lighter. 
knowing that you made the steps to move on. And with that, we open up to all beings everywhere. Fifth and finally, our last section together, only five more minutes to go. As all beings everywhere, how we are connected to all of them. I'd like to think I could be reborn into any of those bodies, any of those possibilities. Maybe not physically in this lifetime, but maybe mentally may have find the mindset of a butterfly floating through the air, never held down in one place. May all beings, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. If you find yourself like me, maybe falling back into the difficult relationships, still scenarios swirling through my mind, how I could do things better, say things differently, change other people. Well, I cannot change other people. I can only live my best life and hope they choose differently. I know that is a fool's errand, but that is our contemplation of life as we cannot force anybody to do anything and so now we notice that we are stuck on our difficult relationship we do not judge ourselves for it we simply set it aside let it float on as it's cloud leaving and we remember that i am the observer of the conscious mind the observer of the observer I am not this physical body. May all beings, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. And with that, my dear friends, we take this final breath to notice how our mood has shifted when thinking about all beings everywhere. As we can get up from our seats today at the end of our practice, 
knowing that we've made the world a better place. There's so much in this life that feels like it's out of our control, but we are in our own control. My brain can be more compassionate towards myself, which in turn makes me more compassionate being all over the place. And so I greatly appreciate you for taking this time for yourself and for all beings everywhere, myself included, to make the world a better place. Until next time, with love, namaste. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease.